back to Oh Mama. Today we're going to be talking about violence. Violence. Yes. Lots of it. Yeah, lots of it in the news. The recent UVA murder between the young lacrosse star and his girlfriend. He killed her. Yes. I mean, what happened there? I don't know, but you're supposed to be at college having the time of your life, and he murdered his girlfriend. What is going on? Well, apparently, I heard that he was at some lacrosse party celebration because they'd won some big game. And so, like, one minute he's celebrating, and the next minute he's banging her head up against the wall. I mean, really? Like, I want to know when he's had, he'd had some problems with the police before and supposedly he was one of those kids who kind of was, you know, uh, happy and normal one minute or not one minute, but I mean, happy and normal sometimes. And people didn't have any idea that he had this weird personality, but then some people said that he drank too much and he was kind I, of a smarty pants and yeah. well, he I was think a it's little a, it's, off. it's a bigger problem. I mean, we have kids in Florida lighting kids on fire. I mean, there is a lot of violence that is going on in society, and it's our kids. I mean, the abuse rates of teen, you know, um, partnership, yep. you know, boyfriends beating up their girlfriends. I mean, it's yep. completely out of hand, and I, I just don't understand where it's coming from. Well, is it coming from I the think, well, exposure I think to I think violence? It's the I think it's the parents. I mean, this in this kid's case, at least, his folks were divorced. There were some not great press put out there about his dad's temper and stuff. And he was a child of privilege, but apparently nobody was minding the store and kind of helping him through these issues. And so I think it's one of those parental responsibility things. Like there have to be warning signs that your kids have all of this pent up anger, frustrate, frustration, um, violent tendencies. I mean, I, as a parent, you know, I watch for that stuff and I think, you know, they, these kids don't just raise themselves. Mm -hmm. So I well, but maybe that's what's going on. A lot of kids well, that's what kind are of... watching too much TV, playing too many video games. They're detaching. You know, I feel like maybe that's what's going on. They're they're becoming detached from. You know, our families are all over the place, and we're all busy, and everyone's working. Things are happening, but they're detaching, and instead of reconnecting them you know, in our homes a couple times a day, whether it be sitting down at the kitchen table, literally. Like here, right now. Like, you yeah. know, that seems easy. Yeah. But we need to connect with our kids more. Instead of letting them zone out and letting them kind of go into their own little worlds. I mean, like we need to like bring there's... them back into reality and we need to connect them because we all want to feel part of something bigger. Yeah. And our families are that thing. In well, our... in, this, in, in the absence of family, which I think happened with this kid, that he got into a peer group that maybe wasn't that great. But and his so lacrosse that's... team should have been like his family. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can be part of something positive. And if you're not part of something positive, you end up becoming part of something negative mm -hmm. because we're constantly searching for identification and we want, just want to feel a part of it. Yeah, so in, and, in essence, it's like you're, you're judged by the company you keep. If you can't keep company with your family, then you better find some friends that are going to be good company for you. But I think in the end, the parents need to mitigate both of those situations. Yeah. So anyway, if you have anything to say about violence or if you're noticing violence or you want to know how to recognize it or, um, you know, come on the site and in the violence hot button, there'll be uh, moms waiting for you to uh, talk to. And resources too.